also learned to ourselves to get through pain. Learning to love and live together is one of life's greatest challenges, and it's also the shared goal of a married life. Mankind did not create love. Love was created by God. So therefore, a husband and a wife should not confuse love for worldly things with that of godly love for one another. For even, even if worldly success is found, only love for one another will make any marriage. The measure of true love is a love that's both, both freely given and freely accepted, just as, as God's love is unconditional and free. Today truly is a glorious day the Lord has made. Two of you are blessed with one of, one of the, the greatest of all, all of God's gifts. The gift of abiding love and devotion between a man and a woman. And all those present here today, and those here in heart, wish both of you all of the happiness and success the world has to offer. Karen, do you take Jennifer to be your wife? Do you promise to love, honor, Cherish and protect her, and forsake all others, and hold only to her. I do. Jennifer, do you take Taryn to be your husband? Do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect him, and <laughs> forsake all others, and hold on, only on to him? Yeah. May I have the ring? <laughs> You have chosen to exchange rings as a symbol of your love. As you can see, these rings are in the shape of a circle, reminding you that love is a continuous journey. There's no beginning and there's no end to love. The substance from which these rings are made of, it symbolizes purity. So should there be purity within your marriage. This is a new beginning for you. When you exchange rings, it reminds you that you no longer live for yourself alone, but for each other as well. Okay, take her ring and place it on her finger. And as you hold her hand, repeat after me. I, Taryn. I, Taryn. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, Jennifer. As my wife. As my wife. Have and to hold. Have and to hold. In sickness and in health, sickness and health, for richer and for poorer, richer and for poorer, in joy and in sorrow, in joy and sorrow, I promise, I promise, my love, my love, wear this ring, wear this ring, <coughs> as a symbol to the world, as a symbol to the world, that you are my wife, you are my wife, take this ring and place it on his finger, and as you hold his hand. I, Jennifer, take you, Taryn, as my husband, to have and to hold, in sickness and in health, for richer and for poor, in joy and in sorrow, I promise my love to you. Wear this ring as a symbol to the world that you are my husband. Let us pray. O oh Lord, our hearts are filled with great happiness, with, with great joy on this wedding day. We come before you, pledging our hearts and lives to one another. Grant that they may be ever true and loving, living together in such a way as to bring happiness to this marriage. Temper their hearts with kindness and understanding, Rid them of all pretense of jealousy. Help them to remember to be each other's sweetheart, helpmate, friend, and guide, so that together they may meet the cares and the challenges of this life more bravely. And with the passion of time, that is only our aid today, truly be a place of peace and harmony where your spirit is ever present. Bless this evening, we pray, and walk beside Taryn and Jennifer through all their lives together. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, amen. Karen and Jennifer, as you begin today, 
in your new life and marriage. I'd like to share some words with you to encourage you and that you can take with you on your journey together. First, let your love be stronger than your anger. And learn the wisdom of compromise for fair defend there is to break. Always believe the best of your beloved. Find your partner and ask for help when you need it. And remember that true friendship is the basis for any lasting relationship. So that's very important. Don't forget to say, I love you every day. May love be your patience, tolerance, and understanding. And as much as you have consented to give together in this ceremony to live in wedlock, and have Sealed your vows first by the power of your love, by the giving and receiving of ring, by the joining of your hands. I therefore, by the authority of the state of Texas, pronounce you are now husband and wife in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Karen, you may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Mr. and Mrs. Taryn Peterson. Yay! Yeah.